man, I tell you, I wanted to make a Happy New Year video. Um, it's January 1st, uh, 2022. Imagine, imagine that, man. That kind of a two, two, two. Who knew? Um, but I, I kind of just wanted to make a quick talking video. I call these motorcycle chats, but eventually I'm just going to call them fireside chats because I'm finding that I'm making a lot more here at home now that my wife is gone and I have a motorcycle and a car. Uh, my intention was to have just one car and a motorcycle for me, and uh, um, thank God she's gone. Whew, man, I tell you, I was talking to her today. Her, her and her lawyer are chomping at the bit for me to, to sign the paperwork, and I'm like, man, I'm still digesting everything. You know, um, so, I, so I just wanted to make a, a, a quick video. And I said, Here are these, uh, these are latex gloves. So I'm, right now I'm working on the car. Uh, that's how I spent my New Year's Day. How did you spend yours? And, you know, wonderful joy. I wanted to show you, um, I use this, uh, now you can use any of the spray waxes. They've come out with these spray waxes now. And uh, I, I don't recommend these for use on the car. I would use a, a liquid wax. But these are great for waxing the windows. And I... Uh, uh, because I may be traveling again soon. My mom, uh, she's just eating cottage cheese up in Virginia from what I've been told by my stepsister. And uh, I'm expecting to have to get back on the road at any point. And uh, I tell you, if you wax your windows, that rain just <laughs> rolls right off the windows. And uh, so that's what I was out in the garage doing just now, uh, getting that done. Um, the other thing uh, in the past, you know, I've talked about um, uh, Armor All. And uh, I don't believe in Armor All. I like this 303 protectant a lot better. Um, Prevents, repels, and uh, dry touch uh, for the interior of the car. I'm just trying to get it ready for traveling. Um, you know, now that my wife is out of the house, uh, what I'm planning to do, and uh, in fact, I'll probably just make this a life's pattern, um, is uh, I'm always going to have a bug out bag staged here in my Florida room, um, just in case uh, you know I need to get out of here quickly and, and go camping or do whatever. So I'm going to have everything packed here inside the house, and I couldn't do that when I was married. Because, uh, you know, she, she wanted to bring in her socialite uh, friends and they, so they could have cocktails. And she couldn't stand seeing my camping gear uh, sitting inside the house. Now I'm going to make it nice and neat. And it'll just be packed in bags. But uh, because my mom is not doing too well, I'm, I want to be able to get the heck out of here as quick as I can. Which means i got to keep the car uh, 100%. Um, and that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to show these uh, latex gloves. I can take them off now. Um, you know, whenever you're working with car care equipment, you know, these do have uh, many additives. Uh, I don't know if any are toxic. Uh, they certainly don't say anything on here like keep off your hands and stuff. But I don't want car wax all over my hands. I don't want turtle wax all over my hands. I want 303 protectant. So I always wear some uh, latex gloves. Uh, uh, you can wear whatever gloves you want. I just, I like latex because, uh, and then of course, I actually, you know, because I'm, I'm a cheap son of a gun, you know, I'll actually let these dry out and then I fold them back out until they actually tear. And I just use them over and over again. And uh, I have, I have about a thousands of them, you know, so, uh, but I tell you what, over the years I've gone through, I mean, I bought them years ago. There was a, there was a sale that, that was on and, uh, and so I bought a lot of latex gloves. But the other thing I, I wanted to get into in this video is the balance of life. Um, so, uh, so today I was really expecting to get into the office and work on the divorce papers. Uh, but, you know, at any time with, with my mom just eating cottage cheese and, you know, sucking up uh, potato chips and uh, pop, I'm expecting the bat signal to go up at any point. So I want to be ready to travel. So I spent, you know, all day uh, working on the car, uh, you know, and, 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 and I just want to go about the, you know, detail in a car just a little bit. Um, you know, I, luckily I don't have to paint protect the car. I've already done that. Uh, I did that when I got back. Uh, mainly I just wanted to wash it. And, uh, and then what was happening was my neighbors <laughs> over the fence, cause I'm in a, I'm in a gated community. They were having a bonfire, you know, and I, I said, man, why does the car keep getting dirty, man? And, cause I had it parked outside while I was washing it. Uh, it turns out you know, all that ash was coming down on top of the car. So luckily I got it into the garage. And, uh, you know, it's really important. I just took two towels and I wiped all the water off of the car. That got all the ash off of the car. And, uh, and then, of course, I've waxed the windows and I'll, I'll get the wax off tomorrow. And I've put the, uh, I'm putting the 303 protectant on the car mats because I bought those uh, rubber car mats. Um, but, uh, you know, if you kind of look at my channel, you see where I strike a balance, right? 
Two days ago, I hiked seven miles at uh, Halpata, and we made a couple of videos about that because I got to I gotta get my exercise, man. And that's what I keep telling my wife. She's like, why aren't you working on the divorce? Why aren't you working on the divorce? I said, yes, I'm working on the damn divorce, man. I said, but I got to live life. So today, you know, what am I doing? I'm working around the house. I got the dishes done. The laundry's done. Uh, you know, I'm... I, well, basically, I'm getting the car ready to, to travel, you know, in case uh, I got a bug out of here, you know. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pack a bag uh, and have it ready to go. I got to start staging stuff here in the in the Florida room in case I need to bug out in a hurry. Uh, and so, yes, uh, actually tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I want to get some exercise. I might go back to the Withlacoochee Trail, which uh, which may mean not getting to the paperwork one more day. You know, oh my God, her and her lawyer are going to come after me for a gazillion dollars. Uh, you know, who knows? I mean, but uh, but you know, I've got to you know, you got to strike a balanced life. You know, you're uh, spiritual, mental, uh, physical. Uh, you know, money, your finances. You know, everything. You know, you've got to just kind of look at things and say, okay, you know. I'm going to, I call it, I mean, I remember my buddy and he's dead now. Gosh, dang it. I, I, I loved him. And he said, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. And that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm eating an elephant one bite at a time. So I just wanted to say happy new year to you guys. Uh, you know, if, if you've got a car, uh, uh, don't leave it out for your neighbors to drop uh, ash all over it with a bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, you got the 303 protectant, you know, wax wax the windows, uh, you know, have it have it ready have it ready to bug out, you know. Have a bug out bag. You know, now that my wife's out of the house, I can have a bug out bag. Uh, also the other thing that uh that I really like now is because she was a, a, a liberal Democrat, um, is uh, you know, I'm gonna have protection staged around the house. Now, what that uh, entails, you you make your own determination, so that uh, I can get to it quickly. I don't have any kids, you know. If you got kids, you're gonna have to keep it locked up. I I feel sorry for you, but uh, I'm just here by myself, and uh, so I'll I'll have that. And uh, uh, you know, the beauty is, you know, if I want to leave a dish on the counter, I I don't get bitched at no more. I don't have to worry about that, um, you know. And and now I'm I'm kind of staging things around the house so that it's a lot more convenient for me to get to. Uh, the bills have come way, way down. I mean, my water bill went from $150 to $50 after my wife moved out of the house. My electric bill dropped by $200 a month because my wife moved out of the house. So you know what? Divorce, uh, it, it's not all bad. Not all bad. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not suggesting, you know, if you don't have a good relationship, which uh, I... I never really looked at it that I didn't. I mean, just talking to her on the phone today, she's like, why, didn't you, why can't you get the divorce done? Why can't you get the divorce done? And I'm like, well, I'm working on it, man. I said, you know, and here's another thing uh, for you as far as accounting goes, okay? She's already, her and her lawyer have cooked up a bunch of numbers. And uh, I could look at those numbers. I could look at them tomorrow. In fact, I may, you know. Uh, but I want to cook up my numbers and and see what I come up with because I know, you know, I have a list of what she took. I'm still still determining it all uh, and what I think things were worth uh, when she, she uh, tore out of the house. And, uh, and then, of course, she's taken over her IRA, which I took from 130000 to 400000 because of my uh, investment practices, let's say. So, you know, I gotta, I'm crunching all the numbers at this point, and then I'm going to compare that to her lawyers and her numbers. And if they're in somewhat balanced, you know, I, I, cause lawyers, I mean, my God, the first lawyer I talked to wanted $6,800 just to walk in the damn door, you know, and luckily I get free cons consultation because I'm a disabled veteran. So I can talk to people, but they won't, they won't let me in. They say, Oh, because of COVID, we can't do a face to face stupid people. You know, like I said, I'm trying to get the damn virus Omicron. I'm looking for it. Uh, if you know somebody with Omicron, Leave a comment below. I, I want to go pay them a visit and breathe, uh, breathe on them so that I can get the virus and uh, get, get the uh, natural immunity. Um, but anyway, all right, so you guys peace out. Stay free. Uh, I, I, uh, and by the way, I, I've, I've talked to, I think, what did he call it? Free RR. I'm going to try to get an intro to these videos going because uh, there's a freelance site where uh, maybe I can pay somebody to, to do something professional. Um, so it could be pretty cool. All right, so let's do, let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements, no jab requirements, no mandates. And uh, we are free to come and do as we please. And if you're a Democrat, 
Woo, move to New York. They're, they've got lots of Democrats there. You know, you, you, you can enjoy your lockdowns. You can't go out to eat without a, you know, a, a vaccine passport. You know, make sure you got to show that at the, at the restaurant. And uh, go to California. You know, that, lots of Democrats there. I even thought, you know, let's see, we got Minnesota and you got Illinois. Uh, you be sure and go to Chicago, man. Maybe, maybe you can stop a shooting there at some point. You know, I, I think that uh, you'll like that uh, Lightfoot uh, mayor there. Uh, she's doing a great job. Um, so, you know, I'm, I, I'm all for the Democrats. Uh, just don't come to Florida. There you go. Peace out. Stay free.